Hey YouTube, I'm back today again, this time with my uh, wax empties for the month of December. I finished up just one Bath & Body Works candle, but the rest is retail wax, so I'll start with the Bath & Body Works one. So the first candle I finished up is this Golden Citrus. This was available this past fall at Bath & Body Works. The fragrance notes here are Sparkling Mandarin, Warm Cedar, and Golden Amber. Even though the notes are slightly different, this is a repackage of Sunshine autumn sun autumn sunshine from fall of 2016 so i'm a little bit surprised that uh, bath and body works brought this back and repackaged it but i personally enjoyed it so it was good for me it is a mix of <clears throat> like it suggests um citrus and kind of like more masculine tones which i really didn't think would appeal to enough people to be brought back but i personally enjoyed it so i would still repurchase this again it had just the uh what people tend to call the fingerprint lid um and also this kind of wraparound decal of more natural wood with a chrome rectangle here so <clears throat> i don't love this packaging but i also don't hate it so you know it's just kind of whatever and i buy for fragrance anyway so i think if you turn it around like this it looks just fine so I would definitely repurchase that. So the next thing I used up is actually two candles that I purchased at TK Maxx. They are the same candle. It is Sand and Fog, which is a brand whose fragrances are allegedly inspired by the California coast, according to their label. And these are both in Winter Pine. I believe that Winter Pine is essentially a repackage of Fresh Balsam or like a redoing of Fresh Balsam. So it smelled exactly like it. If you're not a Fresh Balsam fan, you wouldn't like this. But if you are, this was a good alternative for me since I was not willing to pay what the Bath & Body Works stores charge here for three wick candles. So I feel like it had a good strength, good throw. It didn't last very long in this sense that I felt like the candle burned very quickly but I, again, would repurchase it. And I really enjoy the kind of diamond texture and the mercury glass inside. So I typically don't save and clean out my candles, but for this one, I think that I will because I really liked the way that the flame um, came through the glass. So I will definitely keep that. Um, something I encountered though is that with this one, again, it has kind of like a grayish milk glass color. It looks really, really gross, um, but really my problem with burning is that for, like you can see up here that I did not get a full pool on the first burn and that really created an issue. So it still um, threw just fine and the strength was fine. However, this burned way better. Okay, so that's it for candles. I also have a number of wax melts too. I finished up a value pack in the Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch. I have used up a couple of these before. I will continue to repurchase whenever I'm in the States. So next time I go, whenever that will be, I'll probably buy about two or three of these value packs. So is it the best vanilla that ever existed? No. However, I like it because I think that this wax is genuine or authentic to the picture. It smells just like these vanilla cookies that you get out of vending machines. And I think that it's a good uh, vanilla if you don't do vendor wax. Like I personally don't really get into vendor wax. I really don't have a reason not to, I just kind of don't. So this is the vanilla that I stick to. It's good by itself and good as a mixer. The next one I finished up is this blackberry, or, uh, black raspberry vanilla from Sensationals and it says Sweet Topia down below. So I think this little bit that they have down below is really cheesy, but you know, whatever. So I picked this up because I like black raspberry vanilla from Bath & Body Works and I tend to have a thinking where if I smell something somewhere first, I tend to base other things off of it. Like to me, this was supposed to smell like black raspberry vanilla from Bath & Body Works. And I think it smells fairly close. So if you like the body care from Bath & Body Works in black raspberry vanilla, I think that you would like this too. However, this to me was a little more creamy. Um, so yeah, it's still good, but not the exact same. However, I would still repurchase this, but probably not a value pack. I didn't like it enough to do that but I did like it enough to buy another six pack of it. The next one I finished up is this French Lilac Flowers, also for Better Homes and Gardens. This is one that I have purchased before. I mean, this was my second 
clamshell that I had of this and I will continue to repurchase so this is not something for you if you don't like florals definitely don't buy it if you don't like florals but I do at least for the most part so I would even venture to say that if they had one available I would buy a value pack in this but I really don't think they make value packs in lilac but if they did just saying okay and then the last Walmart retail wax that I used up was also from Better Homes and Gardens this is the Tropical Plumeria Petals. I didn't think I would like this at first because I'm not really a fan of Plumeria from Bath & Body Works. It just has too much of a perfume fragrance for me. However, I was surprised that I liked this and I liked it for about two cubes and then I just got tired of it. So again, to me, that perfume note just kind of reared its head and I got really tired of it and would mix it with vanilla just to tone it down. However, if you like Plumeria from Bath & Body Works, I think you would really enjoy this Plumeria Petals clamshell. And I bought this in October, by the way, so this was not something that you allegedly had to be there in spring for. So maybe go to Walmart if this sounds interesting to you and see if they have it. And then finally, the very last thing I finished up in terms of wax for the month of December is also a clamshell, but this is one that I purchased here in Australia. I have purchased from Tilly Wax Melts before, and so this is just another one. So this is in the fragrance Magnolia and Green Tea. I had never tried this before, and I like green tea, and I like Magnolia, so I figured I would enjoy them together. However, I do have a couple gripes about this. So it is soy wax, and all of Tilly's wax things are soy. So I knew that going in. However, compared to other Tilly products I've had, because I've been using them for months, it's kind of like my go-to brand here for wax melts. This one was very, very messy. And I know that that can happen with soy, but this just seemed very excessive, which I don't understand because I don't feel like I stored it any differently than I store other wax that I have from them. So... In addition to it being really messy, it also didn't have any throw, so I tried one cube, which is usually enough for Tilly, and I got nothing. Tried two, got nothing. Got Tried three, I got something for like an hour, and then it was gone. So I was um, not very happy about this. I would not repurchase Magnolia and Green Tea. However, I would still repurchase the rest of their fragrances because the rest of them have been good to me so far. So don't know what was happening with that, but I don't think I would take the chance to buy them again. So there's that. So like I said, it's kind of a lot for one month for me anymore, but I was really happy for the most part with what I melted through this month. So as always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Yellow Brick Expat, same way it's spelled here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.